This week on uh, Legal Talk, we chat to uh, Janusz Luterich from uh, On and On Attorneys. And uh, the situation we've got this week is, I bought a car sight unseen online and the photos looked really good. But when it was delivered, it was full of dents. The tires are worn and uh, the mileage is also very, very high. So what do I do now? Janusz, welcome. Will you uh, give us an answer there? Sure, yes. So I dealt with a case just like this where a person saw an ad online, they spoke to the seller, seller sent them high resolution photos, like 4K photos, looked wonderful, ordered it, paid for the car, to add insult to injury, paid for it to be transported to them. When the vehicle arrived, it wasn't the vehicle in the photos at all. It was a similar vehicle and it had all these problems. So The answer is you don't accept it. You must immediately object at that point. You don't first take delivery, have a look what's going on. Uh, That you don't do. You must immediately object to it. If they insist on offloading the car, you put it to one side, but you don't drive. Okay, so let's say uh, the dealer is now ignoring me because I sent him messages about it. Now, do I keep phoning him and and leaving uh, messages or what do I do? So let me be very clear. You need a proper paper. When I say paper trail, I'm old school, but you need a proper communication trail. Leaving voice messages is a big problem because later on you are going to be sitting in front of some sort of commissioner or somebody who's going to hear your complaint and you're going to say, but I phoned him, I told him, and he's going to say, no, you didn't. You never phoned me. I never had any phone calls from you. So it's very, very important that Whatever you do, you do it in a way that's permanently recorded and you keep it. Sending WhatsApps could work as long as you are saving the WhatsApps and archiving them. But ideally, you want to send emails with detail. It's important in those messages, you say exactly what is wrong. You don't simply say, it's not what you said you were going to sell me. I don't want it. That doesn't tell anybody anything later. You need to be clear. The photos you sent me showed a good condition car, but what's arrived here has got dents, the tires are worn, the gearbox is making a noise. That's what's got to be recorded right in the beginning. Okay, and let's say in the meantime, uh, I have to get to the shops, you know, so can I use the vehicle while I'm waiting for a resolution? So, So here's the problem. The more you use the vehicle, the less likely the National Consumer Tribunal is to find in your favor. because. What the National Consumer Tribunal says is if the vehicle is not usable or it's unsafe to use, they will probably find in your favor and order a refund. But if you're able to drive it, if you can drive it to the shops and you can drive it to school, it's probably drivable, in which case they may not find in your favor and order a refund, but may simply order the guy who sold you the car to fix it. Since he's already defrauded you once, you probably don't want him trying to fix it. Exactly. So so where do I complain? And also, can I demand a refund? All right. So a ref- you, So le- this is a mo- more difficult question. Let's first of all start, can I demand a refund? So the Consumer Protection Act says that you can demand, repair, or refund. But what the National Consumer Tribunal has said is that you can only demand a refund if the vehicle is undrivable or unsafe to drive. In other words, it's not usable. They have, for example, found in cases that where a mirror was broken and can simply be replaced, or there was a dent in the door can be replaced, or new tires had to be fitted, and the seller offered to fit new tires, they did. They said, you can't get a refund. Uh, these things can be fixed, and then the vehicle will be fit for purpose. But if it's unsafe or has serious mechanical problems, then you would be able to demand a refund. But where do you complain to? So first of all, you must complain to the seller. Record the complaint very clearly in an email, as I said, ideally. And if the seller fails to respond in a reasonably short time, I would say two or three days, you then lodge a complaint at the Motor Industry Ombud of South Africa. The acronym is MIOSA, M-I-O-S-A. You lodge a complaint, they will send you forms, you complete the forms, you must complete all the details, and that is where you complain. And you must make it very clear in your complaint that the vehicle is undrivable or it's unsafe to drive. 
If you simply complain about the dents and the outward appearance, they may simply say the seller must fix those issues. And then our final question for uh, this week's legal talk. Can the dealer refuse to refund me and maybe offer to repair the dents and replace the tires? So it will depend on, on, on the specific extent of, of how bad it is. But you do get people who are perfectionists. You know, you get people who buy a second-hand car and think it's just a cheap new car. And of course, it's not. Uh, the National Consumer Tribunal has ruled in many cases that when you buy a used car, you must expect it to have some wear and tear and some the bumps and scrapes and have a bit of a smell from the person's dog and so on. So th- certainly uh, the dealer can refuse to refund you and say, well, you bought a second-hand car. What do you expect? And to the extent that the scratches and minor dings are, are what you would expect for that age of car, they can also refuse to do it. But where the problem comes in is if he sent you fake photos. So if the dealer sent you touched up photos or maybe photos of a different vehicle and it looked perfect, but now it's not, they would have to restore it to that condition which was shown in the original photos. They would only have to refund you. And I'm going to repeat that again. I've said it a few times. If the vehicle defect renders the vehicle unusable or unsafe to use, only in those instances would the dealer be forced to give you a refund. And there are still circumstances like the worn tires, which on the face of it make the vehicle unsafe or unusable, but can be simply fixed. They can send somebody to replace your four tires and then you'll be okay. In those cases, again, the dealer can refuse to refund you, but can then fix the essential issues. Very interesting scenario there, Yanush. Thank you so much for your uh, advice and uh, your time today. We appreciate it. It's a great pleasure and good luck out there when buying used cars online. <laughs> Look out. Thank you so much, uh, Yanush Literick from Han and Han Attorneys. Are you or your business in trouble and struggling to find a solution? Call Hahn & Hahn Attorneys as we assist clients in finding solutions. We specialize in consumer and food law, commercial and construction law, forensic investigations and administrative law. Visit hahnlaw.co.za. That's H-A-H-N. We assist clients nationwide. Hahn & Hahn Attorneys. Because we care. Don't miss Legal Talk with Hahn & Hahn Attorneys Wednesday mornings at 10 on E-Radio.